Today I'm making some paper snowflakes. This is a super simple decor project that anyone who can use some scissors can make. So I'm just taking a sheet of paper. I like to use binder paper, graph or lined. It's thinner than printer paper. And when you've got them up on a wall or someplace, you really can't see the markings on them. But you can totally use printer paper. It's just gonna be a little harder to get the creases in there really precisely and your shapes might be a little bit less identical all the way around the snowflake. I'm cutting snowflakes I like to leave more open space than paper. I think it gives it a nice lacy look. So I take my paper, I fold it so the edges meet so it makes a square, cut off that top extra tail, fold it in half again, and then fold it in half again. You can see I'm creasing these with the uh, back of my scissors every time. And then fold it in half again. It's gonna leave you this extra triangle on the top you can cut right off. And then just start cutting your shapes into it. Be careful not to go all the way through the snowflake, of course, because that will just, it will just make rings and not a snowflake. Sky's the limit. I like to go with sort of simple geometric shapes and some curvy bits. Snowflakes might be simple, but they can really pack a punch with decorating. And there they are on my wall. I'll probably end up making a bunch more of these. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see what I was up to yesterday, that video is on the screen for you.